Gotta do a better job getting in the gym, staying in shape, better than anybody else on the team. So I've, I've seen that play 40 minutes, or 39 point or something minutes. So I, I gotta just stay, stay in shape, you know, stay with the strength and conditioning coach, and just um, be ready to play every minute. This is a pretty different. I mean, when you compare the two teams, I mean, Mark, that's pretty different. Uh, I mean, can you talk about, I guess, how you know, it's kind of a different challenge the way they approach things offensively? Yeah, we, we, we went over uh, how, not necessarily how Mark Pep plays, but we understand that they play hard. They're very coached, a uh, very well coached team. And that we watch tape because they say they just play Syracuse and um, they attack the zone like fast. So they're going to try to do that against us because we run zone. So we did a better job of getting back in uh, defensive, defensive transition today. I'm just going to be ready to you know, play hard and just play, just play hard and try to beat Marquette. Cincinnati played a lot of man. You didn't expect that, did you? I honestly didn't think so. They didn't shoot a low percentage from the deep one line. So I really didn't know. I mean, that's what you kind of saw in the first half. You know, we, were, we had like seven turnovers in the first five minutes of the game. But you know, we settled in. We had, I think we finished with 19 turnovers. That's not good at all. But we're going to do a better job. You know, I think we had a lot of adrenaline to go into that game. You know, I think we did. So. Did you have more adrenaline in them? Was there a reason that you had I think, I mean, we was in the airport for five hours, six hours, <laughs> seven, seven hours. So, you know, we, we were supposed to have practice, so we didn't have practice. And, you know, we, I, I, I guess you could kind of be like rest our legs. So we were just ready to go. I uh, started, and it was just, uh, we were just ready to play. Do you think that not having practice that day made playing the 40 minutes easier for you? I mean, not necessarily. I don't think the practice that we would have had would have been hard or physically, like, really physically. It's just been like a mental practice, like knowing where spots are at, uh, plays, you know, under out of bounds plays, just stuff like that. We never have practice like before games or the day before. It's never a hard practice. She's more like a mental practice. Do you think the adrenaline was more being stuck in the airport that long, or yeah. was it two losses, or what? We just wanted to get a road win, and then we had. I think we all had fresh. I kind of see it and shoot around. Everybody was like had like an edge to them, so you know, I thought that was good. Even though we, like I said, we had seven turnovers uh, in the first five and six minutes of the game. So, but I think we did a good job. We settled in and we pulled out a victory out of, out of the hat. Uh, before I ask this question, is Marquette still ranked, Mark? Yeah, twenty-five slash twenty-four today. Okay. Our sixth ranked opponent of the season. Sixth ranked. Third opponent, and four games. Sixth ranked opponent of the season. First five, you guys are over. Is it time? I don't know. After, we feel like it's always time. <laughs> but, you know, we're, gonna, we're all, we're, I think we're really prepared to play Marquette. We've seen it some tape, you know. And Coach, we did a good job of practice today. You know, it was kind of not necessarily a hard practice, but, you know, we got up and down the floor. Air guys were like, uh, chemistry you kind of went up today, you kind of saw today. So I feel like we're going to be ready for Marquette when it's Anything else for Thanks, the uh, Big East Rookie of the Week? Congratulations, buddy. Daryl Hill was, uh, a couple of years ago, my, my first year here was Daryl's sophomore year. And Daryl used to score like 23 points a game. But it was kind of like uh, before the Atlanta Braves started getting good at baseball a little bit, like when you were like, uh, like 9, 10 years old. And like one good player, Dale Murphy. He was the only player. When the Yankees in the 80s, when I was a Yankee fan, Spurs was a Yankee fan in the 80s, they had Don Mattingly, and that was kind of it. We had Daryl Hill. Showtime. Showtime, Daryl. Showtime. And I got to a huge fight with Roger once again.